Hi, I'm Elise, and um, I'm not a member of Pontypool District Writers, and I don't think any of us are anymore, apart from Neil. But we're here anyway, as a group, so. I've got seven, but they're short. Okay. This one's called Snapdragons. Autumn. The garden was a cemetery of parchment skulls, cleaving, speared martyrs. Summer rendered grinning crests, animated by fingertips, reincarnated into puppet gods. <laughs> and most of the others are sort of just light little verses. This one's called James. You smiled your crooked smile, slightly brown but nearly right, lipsticked, in tight lycra and a long black wig. Kate Bush, you said. The talent contest started and you wailed the opening chorus of Wuthering Heights. A vinegar bottle of wine for second place. The winner, a squeaky off-key soprano singing show tunes. We professed surprised. And this one, uh, I entered a sort of beauty contest thing um, in Garndiffith. I don't know whether anyone knows Garndiffith. Uh, it was actually the Marty, it was actually the Marty Carnival Queen. But it, I've called it Queen of the May. It's quite a long time ago. <laughs> I stood there, stretching my smile, knowing that I'd be the one who'd win. Not that girl whose hair was badly burned. Not that one whose bum stuck out a mile. Definitely not her with a foundation, six shades darker than her skin. Twirl. Ended up facing the wrong way. Nobody bothered to suppress their laughs. Not even in the last ten. Who cares? I didn't want to be the scummy May Queen anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been told off a lot for sighing. You know, I'm he goes, oh, what's wrong, what's wrong? You're sighing all the time. And so I wrote this. I sigh because I'm short of breath. No melancholy or deep longings, just lack of oxygen. There's nothing wrong with me, I just... <laughs> Unhealthy, probably. <laughs> this one's called Feast, and it's very stupid, and I apologise for it being unnecessarily silly. I've eaten six sandwiches, one for every day of the week, except Thursday. I unfolded pressed chicken with the finest white bread that the corner shop could offer. Tomorrow, I might eat cake. <laughs> and this one I wrote for the Cosmopolitan um, Poetry Competition last year, and they didn't even acknowledge me. <laughs> but it's been published, well, it's going to be published recently, so that's all right. It's called Carpet Talk. You wonder what makes it happen, what made it even worse. Off the jeans, the underwear, down to the innerwear, sweating a dance routine against the carpet, bump and grind. <laughs> Take me for a coffee and just talk. I'm not in the mood to be all complicated. <laughs> and the last one is also based on personal experience. Um, and this happened when I was about five. And it's, it's been traumatic for me all my life. It's called Little Circus. An old girl of seven got called on to help produce a dove from flour and sugar and a metal case. I wanted to be her, so when they asked for volunteers, I begged my mum to let me try. I had to be a tree. I laughed so much I had to pee. The clown made fun of me and I was sent off ring. I don't like clowns. 